I was inspired to do this video by the Holy Spirit. See, I, uh, how did this happen? I was just uh, sitting on my chair. There was a cool breeze. And I looked around to see if uh, the window was open or anything was open. Nothing was open except I could feel repeatedly a cool breeze. And those people who are in touch with the Holy Spirit know that Holy Spirit comes to you in the form of a, either a very strong wind blowing or a cool breeze. In this case, it was a cool breeze. And I was inspired to do this video on problem solving. Most of the time, we all, we all encounter problems for which obviously there are no solutions at all, at least at the mind level. So what do we do? We put up with those problems or we talk about it and went out and that's the way we can deal with it. And we are sad about it because we all want to solve the problems, but apparently there are no solutions. But there are college solutions. But the solutions are not coming from the human level, but the solutions are coming from the Holy Spirit. That's the breeze that came. And then the message the Holy Spirit gave us, there are solutions for all problems at a divine level, at the level of the Holy Spirit. There's nothing that is not possible for the Holy Spirit. So what is the Holy Spirit or who is the Holy Spirit? It is the Spirit of God. It's a very complex subject. I don't want to go into it. There are millions of questions that will come. And then I'm not in a place in these days to go and give big lectures. But I'm inspired by the Holy Spirit to solve the problems. Not even explain who is the Holy Spirit, what is its relationship or his relationship or her relationship with God and Jesus Christ, why there are three people, are they all one? Don't go into that. It is the Spirit of God. Not I, I shouldn't say even it, he is the Spirit of God or she is the Spirit of God. There is a form, which is a male sometimes, sometimes female. And then there is also sometimes it's a breeze or an understanding that will come to you during these problem times. The bottom line is you have to experience this uh, Holy Spirit. Where is it? Or where is he? He's still with us, in us, in our consciousness. But then we don't use that consciousness, which is not the mind, it's beyond the mind, although the mind is involved in understanding the answers for the problems. So you have miraculous resolutions that can come through the Holy Spirit, through your inner knowingness. It won't take a long time to solve problems as far as the Holy Spirit is concerned. 
it will be instantaneous miracle. Now I understand why Jesus was so excited about the Holy Spirit because he was able to do all the miracles through the Holy Spirit. During the baptism, the Holy Spirit descended on him in his own baptism. He said that as long as I am here, uh, the Holy Spirit won't come. So let me go and get out of here. And then once, you, once, I, once I go to my father, and then I will send the Holy Spirit, who will be your comforter. He's not simply a comforter, but a problem solver. You will be amazed that all along the Holy Spirit has been with you, but we never knew how to use it. And the theologians and religious philosophers and commentators have complicated it. And generally, there is an aversion towards things that are religious because of our scientific uh, bent of mind, which is unfortunate. So now I have come here to bring this innate wisdom that's available within you. All that you have to do is you have to know how to tap into it, call on it, or call on the Holy Spirit. Or even without calling, He will come and tell you. He will talk to you. So, you will once when you receive it you will feel sorry that i spent all my life not knowing him that's why the holy spirit is the greatest gift to the human race by god but don't I think that it is only Holy Spirit is only in Christianity or belongs to the Bible. Just for now, understand the Holy Spirit is everywhere in every religion. And I'm going to give you a methodology during the initiation program of how to receive the Holy Spirit and uh, utilize the wisdom that follows. Life will become a lot more easier, pleasant, blissful once you do that. In the meantime, I would recommend that you watch some Holy Spirit videos by Benny Hinn and Catherine Kuhlman. And uh, once you do that, you will have some basic understanding of what or who the Holy Spirit is. And then I will uh, do my own thing when I give you the anointing initiation. God bless.